Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I intend to fulfill the Mars missions that I launched in the previous video. We have four actual missions and then three contracts. So we need to position a satellite in a specific orbit of Mars, position one in an orbit of Phobos, and in a stationary orbit of Deimos. And then the fourth mission is testing out the Mars surface probe ahead of actually picking up that contract and doing it. So that is our plan, and we need to handle the mid-course adjustments. Uh, so far, so good as far as comms. And this is the first one, this is a Deimos sat. They're both called Deimos sat because they're identical. One of them will be going to Phobos. We do not know which one yet. Well, we kept this stage with this just to use the RCS for the maneuver. So that is what we are going to do. And for this satellite, we're mainly interested in getting into orbit around Phobos or Deimos. So our inclination isn't great here. But we can't really fix it from this location. Still got a long trip ahead of us. So let's see how much the rest of it will take. And this stage looks like it can help us. The capture is really nice. Only 700 to do a loose capture. And then we'll want to correct inclination here. And the Deimos contract was more valuable, so we'll go for that first. Okay, and that is just 178. So we should be able to do this easily with what we've got as far as Delta V is concerned. Um, let's go back to pointing at the sun for power, and I'll throw everything off, of course. We'll have a correction when we get into the SOI. Uh, we'll just have an SOI change alarm. Okay, so this one is mostly set. Let us turn to the next one. Okay, uh, so I've done the very minor burn with this one. This is set up as good as I can get. Uh, if we try and do anything more and then turn back towards pointing at the sun, it's going to uh, be messed up anyway. So we'll just wait until we get into the SOI. And this is the Mars surface probe done. So next up, the Mars sat, which has to get into that polar orbit, so that's a peculiar situation. Yeah, we got this one pretty much in line here, uh, well, on the plot, so hopefully this we brought down to that properly. Let's see. Oh, 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 uh, just skill rotation. Well, anyway, it'll be a little bit messed up. We'll just point at the sun for now. Probably good enough. Okay, and last one for the mid-course adjustments. Okay, so there's the other demo set, and again, just a little RCS correction here. Okay, well, uh, just go sun down there, and of course that messes that up for now. But now we get to see what kind of uh, issues Mars has in store for us. Well, this is going to crash right into Mars like this. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, we'll deal with it when we get there. Okay, actually this one will be first, but I'll time warp in the tracking station. Okay, we are in Mars SOI. We have plenty of comms, 92%. Pointing at the sun right now, but we probably want to correct our situation because the periapsis, this one was definitively crashing into the surface of Mars. So anyway, we can just correct it out here. So orbit radial plus. Our kerosene and oxygen have held out. There seems to be some boil off of the oxygen, but it hasn't really disappeared. Sometimes it does disappear when I'm in the tracking station and time warping, incidentally. It'll magically compensate for that. I don't know what the rules are, it just randomly does that. Alright, well, that'll keep us out of the atmosphere. Let's plot for the capture. Now, the next one's coming in in two days, so let's see how they... Uh, it looks like we'll have to deal with the next one first, and then do the capture burn with this. And the capture burn location may have comms. 
Uh, it's in a tenuous spot. Let's see if we can focus on Mars here. I guess we really want to change our orbit a little bit more than this. We are, our inclination is pretty horrible right now. Don't know how it got like that. Alright, I'll take that. Um, how many ignitions do we have on... Well, 37. It's really borderline. Whether I can shut this off quickly enough. Well, uh, good enough. That will help the RCS. We have plenty of RCS, but not that that much. I don't didn't know whether we could cover the 37.7. Okay, and then I'll just plot the capture burn. Polos and Amos are relatively in line with each other, so aiming for one is fine as far as the other one's concerned. Okay, so... I'll add that alarm, but we'll have to turn to the other demo sat first. Okay, so here we are with the other demo sat, and we are going to make this minor correction, which will get us better in line with Phobos and Deimos, and also make sure our periapsis is nice and close to Mars for the capture. Comms are still good with the new dishes. Uh, somebody had asked about updating mods and such. Aside from the mods that I introduced the RP2000, Shearstrat engine, small rockets, uh, and maybe crude vessels. Uh, the others I'm not updating. So it's only the mods that I have added in that I'm currently updating. Occasionally I'll be throwing other things in like USI or KSP Interstellar, but those are optional. We aren't even getting to the part where we're using those yet. So you can definitely wait on those. But certainly for this dish in particular, updating the small rockets pack would be a good idea. Okay, that should do the trick. And then we'll have our capture. Capture will happen in just the right time where that other mission has to come in first. They're all sort of mildly interfering with each other, but anyway, that'll be nice. So let's get that alarm. Okay, and then the first demo set, we will try to get into orbit. Comms should be alright at periapsis, it looks like. And there's Mars. I swear it's looking a little bit different than I'm used to. Oh, maybe, maybe it's because in this version I don't have my, my uh, KS3P, the post-processing mod. Yeah, that's probably... One thing, I haven't added all of the visual mods into this particular install that I normally use. So, yeah, because I wanted to keep it simple. Well, we'll have to deal with Mars looking like this then. Looks like the capture will just about take this stage, so 13 seconds. Okay, and ignition. And we'll just hold it steady right there. And that's fine. Uh, we'll just take that. It is a capture. We'll do the separation right now. Okay, and testing out the RCS. All right, this looks good. So, we'll bring it down even further. Right, so up there we'll correct inclination. And also boost up. And I think we'll make this one go to Deimos. Phobos and Deimos aren't perfectly in line, so actually it's better to try and do the boost up over here. We'll still need to phase with Phobos and everything, so there's other things to do, but yeah, that'll be a good start for now. So I'll add that alarm, and we'll pay attention to this at that point. So, okay, next up the Mars sat that's getting into a polar orbit. Well, we got knocked off 
our intended trajectory just a little bit. So I'm going to try and fix that and bring it in. The stage that we have right now isn't useful for anything but the RCS. Okay, and then we'll capture. And we'll capture into that sort of situation. And that'll take 991. It's a little bit off though. It's not clear to me that anything that we do when we capture is going to help that. It's probably something we need to do midway. We'll take care of that after we boost up into a higher orbit. So aside from the inclination, which may or may not be a little bit off, that should be a good match. So we're looking at about 1,500 or so and this should have it. We'll keep this along to help us turn to the node initially and then we'll let it go before firing the engine. And we seem to have 3,500, so that should be enough. So we'll add that alarm. And back to the Deimos sat. Uh, this is Deimos sat number two, capturing. Okay, here comes Mars again. There has been some oxygen boil off here. But right now it's not boiling off, interestingly enough. I guess it's colder out here. Okay, ignition. And we can't just use the entire stage. To, well, we could probably use the entire stage here, but I still want to correct the inclination, so we might as well keep it loose. That should be good enough. All right, and we'll just separate off this stage now. Okay, 3,700 there, and we have captured and everything. We're lower than the other one, you can see. So maybe it's best that we go to Phobos with this. Anyway, we're aimed for that already. Uh, for now, I'll take that, but it seems a little bit lopsided. It should be all right in the long run, though. Okay, for a little bit we'll be hanging out with demo sets, but the next is we really should rename this one. We'll call this Phobos Sat now. Get the new name in there. Okay, so now this is officially the Phobos Sat, and we are going back to the demo set. Okay, so with this we are doing the high over Mars correction here. You can see how far away from Mars we're doing this. And ignition. Ultimately, the most intense mission is coming in last, the Mars Surface Probe. Of course, it's hard to hit Deimos at all, much less get into a synchronous or whatever stationary orbit around it. It's not really admitting to any encounters right now. Oh, well, now it's admitting to an encounter just like that. I didn't even do anything, I just created a node, and I guess we have an encounter after after a little while. Um, fine. <laughs> we are automatically encountering it there. I'll take it. I don't even have to do anything for that one. Though we'll have to pull our orbit down pretty darn quickly. Okay, well, we'll plan to pay attention to that in 25 days, it looks like. So we've got some time now because we're hanging out in this high orbit for a couple of orbits. Oh, we might as well make sure that this is pointed at the sun and everything first. Oh, uh, that's probably going to throw everything off though. Well, we sort of have an encounter there. Okay, well, we'll do that node. That'll help out making sure we don't have to do the entire burn inside Deimos SY, which will not be a whole long time. So, all right, we've got a node for this. It is pointing at the sun uh, with at least these panels and it is recharging. So let's go to the Phobos sat now. Okay, this one is leveling out with Phobos and ignition. Okay, well, relative inclination 0.02, that's pretty good. 
And we have a tangency over there. So let me plot this. Do we get a magical encounter this time? Not exactly. And once again, it's unwilling to show me an encounter. Very unwilling. Oh, maybe there. There we go, there we go. All right. So we'll add that maneuver. And we still got four. Always have to make sure I've got four, otherwise I've lost track of something. But next up is that Mars sat getting into the polar orbit. This is somehow not pointing at the sun. We need to correct that immediately. This has less electric charge than anything else. Might be... Let me see about the goo. 8.8. .8. High over Mars. But how much is it going to take to transmit it? As long as we're pointing at the sun, it's probably okay. Let's try it. Uh, it's, uh, it took a chunk, but it managed to do it. Nine science, it said. 100 electric charge, but it did it. We have other science here. Atmospheric pressure. Gravity scan is only worth 0.9 extra, but I guess we might as well. Why does it have to take so much? <laughs> it didn't manage to finish it. Uh, it's not worth it. Okay, fine. Let me just let it charge up as we time warp in. Double check our comm line. Uh, it seems pretty good. We'll eventually go over the horizon, but it's fine for now. Around the pole, there's the, the degenerate point at the pole there. Okay, node. Let's get everything at the same time here. Separation. So that'll be left in interplanetary orbit. And ignition. We're starting a little bit early, but it will be alright as long as we can ignite. And, well, that looks pretty tangent to me. Again, a little bit off on inclination, but there's no telling. Maybe they'll take that. Let me get the... Oops. A little bit of radial to fix it a bit. There's a one degree node there. But we'll try it first. I don't know what kind of tolerance there is. But it is the next thing we need to do. So let's just head out there. Should we pointing at the sun? RCS. Ah, we actually held the spot without RCS. I don't think this engine even gimbals. But there might be a reaction wheel. Um, I don't think so. So that was just magical. Ah, the dishes are clipping a little bit. Okay. Um, let's check the science here, just for the heck of it. No. Alright. Out we go. And ignition. So lifting our orbit up, and this may complete the contract, or it may not, depending on how the inclination tolerance is. If those little dishes that we put on, 24 of them in total, actually do provide good relay to Earth, then this is going to be a nice relay satellite. If they don't, of course, it can't. It's got a dish for its own communication to Earth, but whether the little relay dishes are good enough, or whether we have to wait for higher technology for it to work out, I don't know. Depends on how combinable they are. I'm trying to find Mars somewhere here, but it is a polar orbit, so I guess... There it is. Okay, that's what I wanted. Now, that's pretty circular, or close enough anyway. Uh, it just says maintain stability, so it looks like it's happy with the inclination as it is, and there we have it. Okay, so first contract complete, we'll point this back at the sun. And next is the Mars surface probe coming in. That's not associated with a contract, but we really, really, really want to do that one. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Well, right now this is not hitting the atmosphere, we can see the periapsis there. And let's just see, we are going polar, but I probably want to lean on to this side a bit. So we'll do some correcting here. I guess we'll be outside the atmosphere initially, and then the surface probe will get itself inside the atmosphere. Okay, so we'll do this correction. Mm, it's a little bit high. 
I'll activate the RCS up here right now so it can push us back. Okay, that's nice and close. And we don't have anything else to pay attention to, so we'll just follow this. Okay, that's close enough for me. Time to separate. I probably should have done it earlier, but... Uh, oh, we'll just take this orientation. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm arming the parachutes. Okay, that should be enough to get it down properly, and we'll go surface negative. And basically, I don't need to worry about this. Let's make sure the orbiter gets into orbit first, and then we'll come back to this. Just for clarity's sake, I'm gonna rename... Oh, this doesn't have control? Why? Oh, it doesn't have enough comms. Okay, well, this is dead. <laughs> well, that simplifies things. So, eight of those relay dishes, definitely not enough. Alright, here we go. In some ways, the main event. Wonder if science... Oh, we got the temperature scan in the upper atmosphere. I think I'm willing to transmit that. Atmospheric pressure scan. Alright, we've got some science already. Surface looking okay. We are certainly slowing down. And we've captured. It's just a big dish. Does uh, should have an easy time of this. Did I have a lot of drag? And obviously we don't have any retro propulsion for the final bit of landing, so we're completely reliant on the parachutes. We're certainly getting slow enough for the parachutes to work. That's important. Now what altitude we're supposed to work at? Uh, 2,500 meters for full deployment. That seems a little bit low, doesn't it? I think that was more like Venus style. Well, I got a chance to bump that up a little bit. Uh, I should have copied two other shoots. Oh, they're really tiny parachutes. They're all they're Venus shoots. No, I kept the. I thought I had changed them to Mars shoots. They're Venus shoots. Oh no! Do some signs. <laughs> Do some science. I I I swore I swear I cop I did Mars shoots. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, yes, we obviously need Mars shoots, not Venus shoots. Anyway. At least we weren't relying on that to fulfill the contract, huh? Okay, so, Phobosat and Nemosat, let's just focus on the things that we are getting paid to do. Okay, so this is making a correction so that on the next orbit it will encounter Phobos. And that should be well ahead of the next thing we do, so we are trying to fill the Phobos contract now. And ignition. Okay, RCS, and we see a closest approach getting nice and low there. It's probably low enough. I'll take that. Let's see. Does it agree? We have an encounter. It seems that way. So I'll just add the SOI change alarm. Um, we should have enough time within the SOI to do the rest of this. Maybe I'll leave some room. So I change alarm with uh, one hour buffer. Uh, well, well, we'll follow along with it. Now I'll just be to make sure that I don't mess up on the time warp. The Phobos orbit is a specific orbit. Here it says within marginal deviation. For the Deimos one, it says minimal deviation. So 
All I know is we got paid more for the Deimos one, so it's probably harder and maybe impossible. They only give you the juicy numbers for the really impossible stuff. Okay, well, there's Phobos. Not looking too bad. And I don't want to crash into Phobos, so let's uh, pay attention to that aspect of it. Um, which way do I want to go with that? this way. Okay, well, as long as our communication is fine, and it seems to be pointing away from Phobos, that's important. Phobos is not going to block it at Periapsis. We can wait till Periapsis to do the rest of this. Uh, why don't we get some science done? Uh, temperature scan, gravity scan, okay. And the goo will save for if we want to set this down on the surface. Actually, in retrospect, uh, having the solar panels point this way around is not right for our surface probe. Obviously, they should be facing upward so that they can recharge while transmitting. Uh, I pointed them this way because of those stupid flaps. I wanted the flaps to sort of be in this direction instead of downward, since we're going to be landing on that side anyway. Okay, let's get this back into a properish orbit. Right. Okay, well, let's see. We've got some time until the demo set. Decouple. Now, nope, even 24 dishes does not give this enough. So, we don't have relay dishes, basically. We can't do relay. This is now on its own. Let's see about science again. Oh, gravity scan. Grooves of Aphobos. Gravity scan in space high over grooves of Aphobos. Wow, it takes a huge chunk of power. Okay, well, we will try to land, but we want to, uh, first of all, Hmm. Okay, though they're active. Bring that apoapsis down. And obviously we'll want to land on this side, on the side with communication with Earth. So we'll try and pull our orbit down on the opposite side if we can. And sun up for now. The orbital period is eight hours. Oh, I forgot all about reaching the orbit. Shoot. Well, I guess we better do that with this. Okay. We have to change inclination. It's not too... Oh, is it the other way around? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the other way around. Okay, um... Wow. Okay, off, off. Oh, it's a shame I didn't do this with the other part instead. But then again, it might be too sensitive. That looks pretty good, assuming that we're correcting in the right direction. These little thrusters are 4 Newton thrusters. Hopefully they're not OP for this. Oh, um, we'll just let it flop around, I think. Wonder what real shoot could ha poss how real shoot could possibly have any interest in Phobos. As the agency that contracted us for this mission. Oh, great. Well, inclination wise, we're not too bad off. No big surprise, but it's hard to do precise maneuvers around these two moons. Well, we're one degree off. We're a little bit off on that side. Uh, we can correct that. Alright, let's go to Apoapsis and see if we can do something. But we really need sunlight. Okay, let's try and boost this up and fulfill the contract. Okay, it's happy. It even counted as stable because we're so slow. <laughs> um, Alright, fulfilled the Phobos contract. And 
there is new science gravity scan we'll transmit that because uh, well we ran out of electric charge though all right uh well we'll wait till we get charge and try again oh kill rotation now we don't have to stay in this orbit oh but for some reason lost a grip on the sun let's see if we have enough to transmit the gravity scan now uh there's no new gravity scan what happened to my gravity scan? Well, let's try this atmospheric pressure data. Accelerometer, yeah. Long gravity scan. No, oh, there's nothing new. Still the grooves. There's a lot of grooves. Midlands. We did Midlands before? He didn't do Midlands, so I don't know why the gravity scan didn't pop up. All right, let's try a gravity scan of the Midlands. And we have enough science for that. I mean, enough power for that. All right, we could probably do some more science, but I think I'm out of time for this episode. Uh, next time, we'll try and land this on the surface and get more science and also get the demo set done. Uh, let me add a maneuver for this so that I don't forget. And... Over here somewhere, we'll want to do a maneuver to bring it... Oh, we don't need that much. But yeah, even these four Newton thrusters are overpowered for Phobos and Deimos, really. Okay, so that'll be our sort of approach to land. And we'll have an alarm for that. And so next time we'll try to fill that other Deimos contract and then try and land both of them on the surface to get more science. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.